I do want to talk about the OVH data center that was destroyed in a fire. This was not a little fire. This was yeah. a big fire. One of OVH's data centers in its Strasbourg campus, SBG2, was completely destroyed in a you fire. You know it's a big night. fire when one of the one of the first uh, like conclusionary statements that are made about it is that they are very happy that no firefighters were injured. And, and yeah. there was actually, uh, there, there was 100 firefighters and 43 trucks um, that got assigned to control the fire. It was crazy. And this is like, they, there was also some pictures of the fire suppression equipment that they had on site and all this kind of stuff. And it's not like they didn't have anything. Like this, this was a absolutely bonkers fire. There was no injuries, no casualties, which is good. The fire spread to SBG-1 and destroyed four of its rooms out of wow. 12 in total. SBG-3 and 4 uh, were completely unaffected. SBG-2 was completely destroyed. So um, uh, this building gone. right here, and it's gone. And a boat, apparently. I didn't know about that. That's, I mean, it's sad for the person who owns the boat, but it's kind of funny. Um, that's, that's, a, that's something. <laughs> uh, because OVH servers are typically unmanaged. Oh yeah, so they're they're unmanaged servers. Yeah. So a significant amount of data is likely permanently why gone. Do, if why don't you talk through that, that with us, Luke? What is an unmanaged server? Uh, well, OVH isn't doing anything for you. So if if there's going to be backups, if there's management of the server in any way, you are doing it, which is desirable for a lot of people, but not desirable for everyone. If you were using something like AWS and they had an issue at one of their data centers, you can kind of sit back and shrug and not worry about it. If you're yeah. using something like OVH and there's an issue at one of their data centers, you probably need to pay attention because there yeah. might be things you need to do, or yeah. hopefully you already did things ahead of time, which are going to solve whatever problem just happened. So what are um, some of the mitigations you could have, like manually rerouting from that data center to another one when you realize there's a problem or like, like talk through. So, you know, just, just saying, just saying, you know, float plane experience, totally no downtime whatsoever. I noticed you're wearing the shirt, you know, got, got, yeah. the, got that yeah. float plane shirt, yeah. float plane experience, no downtime. What did we do? Yeah, I mean, you can have you can have containerized systems, so they're they're very used to and very good at um, kind of killing themselves and respawning elsewhere. Usually not with um, fire, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually it's a little bit more software based uh, than than literal fire and flames. But um, yeah, they they can they can kill themselves, pop up elsewhere, and be agile in that way. Um, you can have you can manually re reroute things. You can have systems in place that that automatically reroute things based on problems. Um, there's a lot of resiliency things that you can do. A lot of different ways that you can approach it, and a lot of it's going to be based on your tech stack and the various things that you use within it. Um, this is this is kind of part of the idea of of what a lot of people look for in cloud based systems like AWS. Is they're often a little bit more by de like there's configuration and stuff that goes into it. A lot of people specialize in AWS management, um, but it's built for this type of thing from the ground up. It, right. should, it should be able to withstand these types of problems. It should be able to scale and downscale. And one of the nice things about being able to scale and downscale is by losing a bunch of things, it's very similar to those processes. So if you're built for that, it should be able to happen fairly easily. Um, so yeah, make sure your things are backed up, even if they're in a rather secure and with really good fire suppression remote server in a data center. You so, still need to make sure it's backed up. You still need to make sure it's off site and you go back to those those three rules of of storage, try to have it in three different forms and in three different places. And um, you know, even going off continent is often a good idea. Yeah, so, it's never a bad idea. So the forum yeah. did not have a really good backup, but fortunately it was not hosted in that particular data center. And the forum now has a copy um, that's encrypted on a server at LMGHQ. So uh, don't worry, your rep on the forum is safe. <laughs> <laughs> your post count is okay. Yeah, we got you, fam. Uh, <laughs> so that was something that uh, Jake, Jake, I don't think, has written an LTT video in the last two weeks. He's been busy setting up the lounge, working on the security system, getting the backup in place for the forum. He's actually done like a crap ton of not not video stuff but it's all very very important forums the forum is so important to me considering how little in time i actually dedicate to it it really does mean a lot to me because i treat it like like a like a you know an, an untainted space there's there's like basically no ads there's no algorithm 
There's no upvoting. There's just good old fashioned tech discussion. And we, other than making sure that people abide by our rules, which can be summed up as don't be a dick and be excellent to each other. Um, other than that, we basically just let people talk tech to their heart's content without a politicized agenda. People can criticize us. We don't care about that as long as they don't insult each other. Um, so, yeah, I'm really glad the forums. I think it's a, a good place that we built on good legs. But, um, yeah, speaking of websites that could have potentially gone down, 3.6 million websites across uh, 464,000 domains went down as a result of that event, which is bonkers. Um, and it says OVH has stated it will likely take at least two weeks to recover infrastructure. I saw that elsewhere as well. I expected. Uh, yeah. Yeah way longer that's impressive um, i am like, floored damn they, ovh yeah i if they pull that off which i mean this is not the first time i've seen them quote that i wow um yeah. good job 